Hello, Kondrad here from Lumpology.com, and welcome back. Today we're going to be learning how to make a, your own, your very own cursor. So, uh, the website we're going to need to go to first is uh, w, or sorry, rw-designer.com, and there, that, uh, linked in the description of course, uh, and there you'll find the real world cursor editor. So just hit download and install the MSI. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to go to here, Real World Cursor Editor. So here it is. Here it is. So we're going to say Create, uh, and we're going to say New Mouse Cursor. So here it is. It's going to give you this nice panel. This is our preview window. Uh, you can do the name and author if you want. Uh, so let's just make, uh, let's show off some of the cool features. So we've got all these. Uh, you can do bevels. Uh, these are just a bunch of different like things you can use to modify your images. Here are your layers. Here are your formats. Um, so, and you can create all kinds of layers, including raster, which is very interesting. Uh, then we also, for like 3D depth, you can get use the bevel, um, and then you can create a shadow, or you can make these, they've got these pre-added animated properties. So we're just going to do an animated, so I should mention, you can draw uh, here. Uh, you've got all these different kinds of tools. For example, this pencil, you can draw here, and then over in this here, the center of this little uh, icon in the corner, uh, that's where you need to, that's where you, the, the, the point of click is. So you need to get everything to match that. So we're not actually going to use any of this. I'm just going to quickly do a nice animated fire with this. So uh, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select the color blue, and... And something like this. Maybe I want to look like this. There we go. All right, so I'm going to make it blue. OK. And now it's in the display. And we've got all the frames down here that can be edited individually if you like. Um, so now I'm just going to drag it and position the clicking point. So I want it to be about there. And then I'm going to go to File, Save, and then down here, I'm going to select the animated cursor files, .ani. And I'm just going to save it to my documents. And I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm, going to, I'm just going to close this. I don't need to keep the save file. So I'm just going to then go to Mouse. With your mouse settings, go to Additional Mouse Options, Pointers. And then I'm going to on hop over to this like none scheme and I'm going to hit browse. And I'm going to go to my libraries and documents and where I saved it, unnamed.ani, open. Now it's there, apply. And now I have an animated cursor that I can use. Very nice. All right, uh, that's a very quick explanation of how you make an anime uh, cursor in uh, Windows. Uh, I make a custom cursor, so I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Quinter Heidi, and I'll see you all later.